Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Jordan Woods has really been a hot topic this week and even last week. Now Jordan Woods is a friend to the Kardashian and Jenner family. She's actually best friends with Kylie, but things took a little messy turn when it was said that she was caught messing around with Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. Ever since then, Jordan Woods has been getting dragged left and right. She has been getting bullied by Car Jenner fans and she also has been dragged in the media. Not only that, Khloe Kardashian has been liking shady tweets about Jordan and Khloe's friends and associates have been going out of their way to diss Jordan. And I'm gonna talk about that later on in this video. But as you can see, Jordan has been made out to be the villain while Tristan Thompson, who should have known better, is going scotch-free and Khloe Kardashian doesn't seem to be taking any digs at him. Mm-hmm. Now, in my previous videos about this whole situation, I did have my theories that Jordan was used by the Kardashian family to set Tristan up so the Kardashians can use this as a storyline for the next season of their reality show. However, my theory was off, <laughs> but I wasn't wrong about the Kardashians taking advantage of this whole scandal so they could keep their name in the press. They will use this whole storyline in the next season of Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Please believe that. Now, Jordan Woods herself has remained quiet while people were dragging her, but today she was finally able to break her silence on Jada Pinkett Smith's talk show, The Red Table Talk. Jordan decided to go on Jada's show because she's actually very close to the Smith family. Her father actually worked on the set of Fresh Prince of Bel-Air and he was really tight with Will Smith and since then their families have been close. But anyway, Jordan did tell the truth about what really happened between her and Tristan the night that she was partying at his house. Now Jordan broke it down and said that she went to a club with some of her friends and Tristan happened to be at the club at the same time. After that, Jordan and her friends decided to continue to party at Tristan's house. The group of girls that I'm with are like, you know, we're gonna go to the house. On the way out, they're saying it's Tristan's house. I'm like, cool, that's okay. Feels like a safe environment. The first step is I should have gone home after the party. I shouldn't even have been there. Right. Never once was I giving him a lap dance, making out with him, sitting all over him. We're all in plain sight. Did you sleep with Tristan? Never. Got it. Never a thought, never a consideration, never happened. And never will I. You guys didn't have a relationship for a month There's prior to There's been no relationship. Okay. Now, Jordan made it clear that she never had any intimate interactions with Tristan. However, later on in the interview, she did reveal that she did talk with Tristan a little bit and she actually sat on the arm of his chair and placed her legs near his. So it was easy for some onlookers to assume that Jordan was getting cozy with Tristan. But Jordan said that wasn't the case. So after all night of partying, Jordan realized that it was morning time and she decided to leave Tristan's house. And here's what happened. And you know, I tell everyone I'm leaving. I tell Tristan I'm leaving. And he's like, are you sure? You know, it's fine. You can, you can be safe here. And I'm like, you know what? I need to go. My car's outside. I had to drive outside. It's been waiting. On the way out, he did kiss me. No. And what do you mean by kiss? Like a No, it, it was like a kiss on the lips. But no tongue kiss, no making out. Got it. Nothing. I was like, that didn't just happen. So as you can see... Tristan Thompson made a move on Jordan, okay? Now, Jordan did take the blame for her own actions because she said she should have never been there. She should have never been drinking and just kind of chilling with him because it made him feel comfortable enough to kiss her. And I do believe that Tristan was definitely trying to take it further, but Jordan wisened up and went home. Now, Jordan did talk to Chloe about that night and she did reveal that, you know, she wasn't all the way honest and she felt sorry about it. What exactly were you not honest about? I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. And the last thing I wanted to do was be that person. I'm no home wrecker. Right. I would never try to hurt someone's home, right. especially someone that I love. Right. 
Jordan also talked about being bullied by the media and being bullied on social media to the point that she and her family can't even live normal lives anymore. They're putting their focus on a young black woman who made a mistake and every day it was a new headline. Every time you refresh the page, it's another person bullying me or wishing death upon me or telling me something like, your father deserved to die. Wow. We can't leave the house. My brother can't go to work. Like, my sister can't go to school. She's 12 years old. Jordan has been through it, child. She has been through it. But you know something? I do have to give Jordan props because she has taken full responsibility of her actions. She didn't throw anybody under the bus. She didn't shade anybody. Even though some people who was close to her decide to go on social media and shade her. And I'm gonna get into that in a minute. But I do applaud Jordan for her maturity. And I overall am glad that she had a chance to tell her side of the story. Because I didn't like the fact that the media was trying to smear this young woman's name. And I have a bone to pick with a few people, starting with Jason Lee. Now, Jason Lee is a famous blogger and he runs the blog Hollywood Unlock. In fact, he broke this whole Jordan and Tristan story and he went on the talk show called The Real and threw some slick shade at Jordan. So what happened over the weekend apparently is Jordan Woods was spotted out applying for jobs. Um, you know, everybody needs to work out here, <laughs> um, especially since she got kicked out of Kylie's back house. So she's out here looking for a job at Sir. What's Sir? Sir is a restaurant in West Hollywood, so she's gonna be a server. Now, Jason Lee, sir, you are messy, okay, for trying Jordan like that. Now, first of all, Jordan has several businesses. She has her own eyelash line called Allure, which is now selling in Ulta Beauty. Also, she has her own athletic clothing line called Second Nature. On top of that, she gets paid big money to promote brands on Instagram, and she also had a collaboration with Too Faced. So Jordan is out here making some real money, okay? She is not applying for a job at a restaurant. Jason, you are being messy. Another person who is being messy is one of Khloe Kardashian's lap dogs, Larsa Pippen. Now, when Larsa found out that Jordan was going to be on the Red Table Talk, she said this, can't wait to see which version of her story she tells. Hope it's the same she told Khloe Kardashian when she checked her. Now, Larsa, weren't you cheating on your husband, Scottie Pippen, with the rapper Future? You should just mind your business and handle your divorce. And Malika, I got a bone to pick with you as well. Now, Malika has been the most vocal about this situation because Khloe Kardashian is her best friend, so she kind of has been Khloe's mouthpiece on social media, and she has been throwing a lot of shade. Now, I was cringing at this pathetic video of her riding around in a car with Kim Kardashian, singing songs that were obviously throwing shade at Jordan Woods. Malika was also throwing shade at Jordan on social media and she responded and said, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again, but I sure wouldn't make excuses, alcohol, in an interview to gain self-pity and save face. No one in my life would condone that coward-like behavior. Now someone checked Malika in the comments and said this, Malika, weren't you publicly sleeping around and had a whole relationship with a married man on national TV? Really? Wow, stop it. And that is true, by the way. Malika has been known to date married men. She did date a football player named Adrian Wilson when he was still married. Not only that, she was messing around with the rapper Chinks while he was still married. And Malika admitted to having relationships with married men. I was even married, like living with my one of my exes who was married. We were living in a house together. They were separated. So a part of me says, no, I'll never do it again. But I really do follow my heart. When people call Malika out for dating married men, she responded and said, I have said it before and I'll say it again. I have never excused my behavior ever. I choose to believe what I wanted to believe. I was wrong for that. Wrong is wrong. I'm not excusing myself or anyone else. I made my bed so I had to lie in it. 
Trust, I took my L, it's called being an adult, and I sure did not ask a soul to fight for what I believe in or bully anyone else. Now, I don't have an issue with Malika being honest and open about her being a homewrecker, but still I find it hypocritical for her to judge Jordan Woods while knowing her own past. That's what I don't like, and they're all doing this to defend Chloe. And I have the biggest issue with Chloe in this situation because Chloe decided to hop on Twitter and drag Jordan after she gave her interview on the Rec Table Talk. She said, why you lying Jordan Woods? If you're gonna try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason why my family broke up. Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He he has been addressing this situation privately if Tristan were to lie publicly about what conspired then yes I would address him publicly as well now Chloe you need to sit down somewhere you need to sit down somewhere you and Tristan's relationship is toxic he has been cheating on you in public multiple times and you still don't hold him accountable you have the audacity to blame Jordan for breaking up your family when your baby daddy has been acting single throughout your whole relationship and you want to drag Jordan after Jordan cried for you on that table and said that you didn't deserve to be disrespected? She doesn't deserve this either. Right. You know, people have even dehumanized her in this situation to where they don't, they can't feel for her. Right. What is the purpose of going after her? To stir up more drama? To stir up more publicity for yourself and for your reality show? Girl, stop the nonsense. And let me just say this, Chloe's record is not clean and I'm gonna keep bringing this up. Chloe broke the girl code by messing around with her good friend, Lauren London's ex, Trey Songs, and also broke the girl code by dating French Montana while he was still with her other friend, Trina. So she and her friends are upset that Jordan backstabbed her when she backstabbed her own friends. That makes no sense. And another thing that people called out, which I'm glad people called it out, before Tristan started dating Chloe, he was in a relationship with a woman named Jordan Craig. In fact, he impregnated her. And while she was pregnant, he left her to be with Chloe Kardashian. Tristan is the most scandalous one in this situation, but Chloe is directing more of her energy toward Jordan Woods. She's out here posting subliminal messages on Instagram and liking shady tweets about Jordan, when in fact it's Tristan she should be upset at. But you know what? She won't get mad at him and I wonder why. Honestly, I really think Chloe is just trying to play the victim and trying to spin this narrative in the media so Jordan can receive even more backlash. You're mad that Jordan didn't address this privately, but you and your friends and your little PR team have been creating stories and dragging and shading Jordan left and right. So Jordan had a right to publicly speak out for the first time. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this video down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!